Hello everybody, my name is Ruby Princess, and welcome back to today's episode of Project Nexus. It feels incredible to be recording again after so long, and actually it's been a month since the last episode went up, and this is the first time that I've even opened this world since then. I love, I did miss this world. And although every world has its own thing, its own unique flavor to it, if you will, a certain smell in the air, a certain way that your foots, that your steps fall as they walk across the grass, although modded was fun and I learned it and I learned a lot and was able to do some honestly crazy things. It feels good to be back here. Not every player has a has a world that they consider their home or a server that they consider their home. A lot of them do. And I thought for a while that I didn't, but I do think that this one is mine. Okay, I thought that led into an ocean. I guess it just goes to a lush cave. Ooh, glowberries. You know what? I can work with that. As long as I don't die horribly. There's a skeleton right there already. And a creeper. Alright. Yep. Great job, everybody. I am... Uh, I mean, you know, I was gonna go for those glowberries, but I think I'll just turn back, actually. <laughs> now, if my voice sounds a little quieter than usual while I'm recording... Please don't be alarmed. I just woke up from a nap and also my energy leveled very greatly between recordings. So if I sound like I'm on the verge of death in one and sound like I just took cocaine in the other, I don't actually take drugs so I haven't- so I didn't take cocaine, but maybe I just drank coffee that morning or whatever. <laughs> right. So, man, it's been a while since I've had to navigate vanilla terrain. You, terrain, you have to understand, this is- I've been playing exclusively modded Minecraft for the past month. So if there are some things that are a little bit un-, un things that I have to get used to a little bit again. Like not having the vein miner enchantment on my pickaxe when I mine things. Or having it auto automatically smelt the iron into into ingots. Eh. I'll learn to live with it. Anyways, today my goal is to go to a village and get and establish some trade with some villagers. Because I'm not sure if you if you're aware of how mending works, but or well, okay, if you're, if you're, I'm pretty sure you know how mending works. However, you might not know that basically the only way to get it is through trading with the villagers, and. Um, Currently, I do not know where a village is. I'm pr at l I'm almost certain that I've run into one at least once in this world, but I've actually never traveled this direction before, and it should be a quick... It should be a relatively quick journey if I just remember to waypoint my decisions and holy hell on a hand in a hand basket. That is a sick looking mountain. Ooh, and a desert. I love deserts. So normal about them. I love deserts. This might just be a beach, but whatever. But, ooh, that is some nice terrain. And it looks like the ocean. there's an actual ocean, like right here. Okay, great. Uh, I'm gonna head this way first. <laughs> And hey, look, I even remember to bring my lodestone with me. Now, uh, 
obviously if I do end up losing it, I'm screwed four ways to Sunday, but... <sighs> Sunday is tomorrow, so I should theoretically be fine if I do end up dying out here. I also brought a bed with me, some torches, you know, all the necessary enemies that it would be smart for somebody to bring with them if they are going on a trip. Oh, hello. Is that one of those, uh, whatchamacallit, drowned structures? Ooh, and a sunken ship. Might be able to go out looking for adventure on the high seas. Nice. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I will take your treasure map and skedaddle, thank you very much. Okay, yes, I really desperately need respiration on this helmet. This is... right. I keep forgetting that my microphone is no longer up near my mouth. And so I have to keep leaning forwards to get to like lean to like actually be in range of it which is fine actually it's fixing my horrible spine somewhat um, so, oh wait a minute i haven't actually found carrots yet i am that is awesome actually that is a really great find love agri love myself some agriculture um where is there another chest in here i could have sworn Ships usually have another chest. I guess this one just simply doesn't have one. Oh well, that's alright. Uh, which direction was I going? This way. Yep. That's backwards. I'm going backwards. Right. I'm great at this, guys. That's... Funky. That's really funky. And extremely dramatic. <sighs> okay, I was gonna go over here, but... Uh... Whoa, dude. Man, I was really planning on... Like, exploring this with an Elytra, but after... Like, a solid month of being to essentially fly in creative mode while still in survival mode. I think I can- I can get behind this. I don't even know what coordinates this is at, though. I should probably try and at least remember the direction I'm going in. That would be smart. Alas, when I start recording, I often seem to lose all of my brain cells. So, who knows? We'll see how this goes. Just placed a boat down instead of my bed and tried to sleep in it. Great job, Six. You're doing fantastic. <gasps> right. It's not the hot key to zoom. I just imagine I did the dramatic optifying zoom thing right then. <gasps> it's the famous snow your snow. No way. That's crazy, dude. I'm gonna get a little bit of it and try not to freeze my literal ass off. When I need to turn up my game sounds for this. This is this. <laughs> Noibs. I spy with my bionic eye. A, s a snowy b forest biome thingy. Aren't they called taigas? A, s a snowy taiga? Isn't that the word for them? Yeah, I think that's the... What is a bee doing in a snowy taiga? Okay, man. Uh, I'm just gonna get some of these saplings while I can because these things are like stupid useful when it comes to building you know what 
two spruce saplings does it well enough for me. There are obviously no villages anywhere around here. Uh, I'm going back home. <laughs> I just realized that the center of the compass and the lodestone compass is it centered? Isn't centered? I do. I don't know what this is. Just me going insane. But I'm like ninety percent sure that it isn't centered. And I might actually just make a resource pack to fix that myself if somebody else hasn't already done it because that's going to drive me insane. Wait a minute. Wait, what the? <laughs> um hi guys <laughs> I was just walking home and some um, um shit 1182 62 94 how far out am I good lord okay um okay I'm back home now Village at 1167 63101. Nice. And now I guess I go into the nether and build a portal there. Or easier option. Since I've already kind of been that way, I can just head on back. Place down the portal and don't forget a flint and steel, you fool. You absolute buffoon. Nether portal set. Hopefully the spawn doesn't absolutely suck. Oh, it sucks. It sucks balls. But... The... Um... Okay, you know what? That's not actually a problem. Because that right there is... Okay. Yep. Never mind, guys. We're good. Now, obviously, I'm gonna need a way to get up there. So... It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but if a ghast decides to ruin my day, it'll have a little bit of a trickier time doing so. And... It's got a ladder. So. And just so that I actually know where I'm going, added a little bit of a, added, updated the sign over here. It's not pretty, but it works. It is not lost on me that if I ever happen to fall off of this path once, I am fucked. Which is why I need to implement guardrails for all of these, but, uh, I don't have time for that right now, so it's whatever. Okay, we have an enchanted book. It sucks, but we have an enchanted book. Ooh. Curse of Binding, okay. Still absolutely sucks. Yep. This is really just what villager trading is like. Look at the C3. Okay, that wouldn't be too bad if, but I'm looking for Menden here. Come on, man. <laughs> Infinity! I don't have a book. I can fix that. But I'll take that. I keep thinking of that one animation by by Garrett the Carrot about literally this exact situation. I'd put it up on screen, but like I don't think I'll just I'll just link it in the description. It's re it's really his animations are really good. By the way, they're very worth checking out. You should check out his channel. I wish I spoke villager so that I could just ask for mending like very politely and i do great at it it'd be fine everything would be just great but no <sighs> okay sharpness five 
For 34 emeralds. Nope, we gotta, we gotta stay focused. It's a really good trade, it's really worth it, but we have to stay focused. Please, for the love of women everywhere, just, you can do this for me. I will stop bothering you after you trade me mending. I'm so sorry we are both having to go through this, but you do not understand. You, please. Power four. Oh, that's, I could get power five on my bow, but no. Frostwalker. Ugh. Mending. Yes, and for only 10 emeralds. I, we are so back. Okay. Now I can actually finally use my freaking elytra. Okay. Also probably going to have to get yet another villager in here later for unbreaking three. And of course with mending comes a... There's just an iron construct just chilling there. Okay, man. Yep. Okay, now I can finally go home. I will have to get the rest of those enchantments later because... Uh, yeah, Lord knows. It's gonna take me forever to get all of the actually good stuff. But... Yep. And now... Aw, oh, crap. I started recording just as I... <laughs> I really should fix that texture pack, but it's... it's whatever. It's whatever. Anyways, now that we finally have mending on them, I also need to get on breaking three. So, uh, just give me a sec. Just, just, just give me a second. For quality of life, I have installed a data pack that you can find in the description that, if I can just throw this onto here properly, merges a... <laughs> I have installed a couple of quality of life data packs from Vanilla Tweaks, link in the description, that, amongst other things, allows you to merge the elytra and chest plate and netherite chest plate into one item, which is pretty useful. Okay, hey, need to just get some creepers to spawn. May as well pick off these idiots while I'm at it. This might take a minute, actually. <laughs> okay, we have broken through onto the nether roof. There's just random ass enderman over there. Buddy, are you lost? All right. So now what we are going to do here is build a contraption by which you can break bedrock. Now the tutorial for this, which I am currently following along on my phone right now, was made by Sassy Fish on YouTube, which I will have that video linked in the description. Accidentally just went back 10 seconds, which is absolutely great, and I just realized that I forgot to bring a, a lever. Uh, I really sincerely hope that I have some type of wood in the shulker boxes that I brought, because if I do not, we are fucked. It's fine, I brought extra obsidian, you don't have to worry. Hopefully this doesn't put me in like some random cave somewhere. That would kind of suck, actually. No, wait, links up to the exact same portal. We're good. Brought everything and forgot to get a fucking lever, I swear to god. This is why 
you always idiot proof when doing something like this. Always. Don't care how long you've been playing the game, don't care how good you are at it, you always, always, always account for human error because you are a human. And humans have the short term memory of an amnesiac goldfish. I have run out of Ender Pearls and am now. Very, very, very stuck. Okay. Um. This is fun. And no, I cannot glide down through the hole. I am a uh, Currently very, very trapped. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. No, never mind. We're we good? Okay, we're good, never mind. You know, I almost lost the series there to probably the most rookie mistake ever. Like, I would have had to just fucking retire after that, man. There's nothing... Like... What- if you- if you lose your world... With that... Like, what do you even... I accidentally just glitched through without- with- while using only one pearl nice. But, like... Imagine losing the entire series to that. I should actually probably pick up these shulker boxes just in case one of them explodes. That would be smart. Yeah. <laughs> like, imagine I'd lost my world to that. Now, before I set this off, I am going to go into my keybinds and set my place block key to B, which wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, that goes really fast, okay. Just tries to right click with it at the same time like a like an idiot. I am really, really nervous about this, but uh Yeah, that didn't work because I was holding the shield and I forgot to place the piston down. It also it also blew up my nether portal, so, so thank god I brought a spare flint and steel. I am an idiot. And now I need to go get... Ten, and now I need to go get ten more pieces of... Uh, TNT, so that I don't die. Well, not die, no, not TNT. Ten more pieces of gunpowder so that I can try again. There might also be an op- there might also be another way I can do this using mushrooms, which is partially why I collected a couple. So, like, give me a sec. Yep, okay. Pretty sure that worked. Six! I hear you ask. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? No, seriously. 
what the fuck? And, um, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you were totally and completely justified in asking that. Let me explain. So, here we are in a super flat testing world because I did- Okay, just let me explain. So, in Minec Minecraft has a specific way of rendering redstone every point, I think, point 0.2 seconds? No, point 0.25 seconds. And these point 0.25 second intervals are known as in-game ticks. There are four ticks per second, normally, because you see, uh, with enough lag in the game, not just client-side lag, but also game-side or server-side lag, which affects the entire world and doesn't have anything to do with your computer specs, you can cause the game to effectively lag out so much that certain functions are not recorded. So, for example, here we have a piston with bedrock underneath, as you can see. This thing is- this isn't like any like fancy, fancy wizardry here. This is just bud powered, which means- I don't actually know what that means, but it means that the piston stays on even if there's not a power source of blood. And what you need to do to do that, you do that, you do that, you do that. And for some reason that works. Now, how tick lag works is that effectively you give the game so many things to do in a second that it overrides it and, well, um, volume warning by the way, this is going to get very loud because what I have done here is I have installed Tweakaroo, which is a fabric modifier that lets you do some funky stuff such as have increased ticks per second and I am installing it specifically for this. Oh god, the zero zero block, it's up there. I can I can- my eternal enemy. I can see it. Anyways, getting distracted. So with Tweakaroo, what I am- what I have done is I have set a hotkey to enable fast right click. Now what this lets you do is- well, it doesn't show me doing anything right now. However, it lets you right click really, really fast. And <laughs> if I go over here and, um, Now, if I just hold this down for a sec, go back here, go under here, break this, and then push this downwards, we, uh, give this a minute. Yep. Completely regular, totally normal things. Once that is all done, Turn this off, go back over here, and... Okay, I obviously messed something up. Try number four. And it's broken. Nice. DocM77 would not be able to do half of what he does on Hermitcraft without this thing installed. So, <laughs> um, if you're gonna try this on multiplayer, uh, maybe at least ask first. Also, I did not come up with this idea, neither did the person that made the tutorial for this, which I will have linked below if you want to do the same thing yourself. 
I just thought it was neat and wanted to use it, and so I did. I just, um, it just casually ended up in the, yeah, okay, hold on. What is your problem? Okay, now let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. It did not. Probably because I didn't update the block. Apparently, you can do it if you have an efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe, but I only have efficiency 4 on mine, and... My pickaxe isn't, uh, and I only have an efficiency 4 diamond pickaxe, which I can combine with the efficiency 5 pickaxe to make an efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe. However, I only have one netherite scrap, and so, you know what time that, you know what that means, baby. You know... If there is a god, I like to at least try and think that he's nice. I like to give him the benefit of the doubt. And even when it comes to situations like this, I am aware that they are entirely of my own making and that I am literally the only one who can be blamed for them. That doesn't make- that doesn't stop me from wondering, however, how much sometimes God has got to be looking down on us from wherever the holy deities sit. Getting probably the best live action entertainment that can be found anywhere in the 19 realms. No one can truly ever say if God laughs at us. However, I think that if he does, he is 100% and totally justified in doing that. Because I laugh at humans too, and I think, like, if you've been alive for that long, you at least deserve to have a good chuckle every now and then. Oh. Well, I'm agnostic, but I guess if there is anybody up there, they liked that, that little monologue, apparently, because that was literally the first bed I sat down and I instantly got an ancient debris. If I get- if I can just get out of- hey, whoever's listening, if I can just get, like, or like two more really quickly and then leave. If- if- will, will you let me do that if I continue being funny? I'm like, I'm like, I can be your own personal stand-up comedian if you want. Oh hey, just found two in a tunnel. Okay, we're out. Just realized that I totally missed the opportunity to say, okay, we're out of this hellhole there. Which, disappointed in myself, to be honest. Alright, we got it to work. Let's go, baby. Now, the next step is to actually... Probably put that somewhere. Probably put down the same thing again over there. So that we can more quickly, safely, and easily get to... You know, get up and down. So I'm going to build the same setup again. And hopefully it won't take... Why does long to figure it out this time? Because oh, that was a doozy. You know what I just realized? This reminded me of a cursed version of a ritual circle, which I guess it kind of is if you think about it. It's something that you put together, and then you would have to perform an, an action in an extremely specific way to get it do to do what you want it to do. And it also kind of breaks the universe while you're doing it. 
Yeah, that tracks. My world has been loading for the past five minutes and it's stuck on the screen. I'm terrified. It was nice knowing you, guys. Okay, I had to close Minecraft with Task Manager. Please, I'm begging you, don't be corrupted. Please don't be corrupted. Please don't be corrupted. Please don't be corrupted. I don't care if I lose my pickaxe, just do- I can get my pickaxe back. Just be- do not be corrupted. Okay, F3, 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 B is there. It's... Is my pickaxe anywhere around here? Is my pickaxe anywhere around here? I don't think it's anywhere, but... Like, just in case, I'm gonna double check, just in case. <sighs> well, this was not how I expected this to go. Hey guys, Editor6 here. Um, so I did indeed lose the footage. Actually, I messed up recording the footage of me doing the whole, like, explaining the XP farm, building the XP farm, etc. There is going to be a link to that in the description. Basically, I messed up and I also fell off of it while I was building it. And that's how I lost my pickaxe. And while I was doing that, somehow the world stopped doing the world loading thing and it really freaked me out and that's what's going on there. So, yep. Producing this has been an, an absolute nightmare. I hope it was worth it. Well, folks, looks like my comp my pickaxe is completely gone. Yay! Literally just remembered that the reason that I that the pickaxe also had the curse of vanishing on it, which makes a lot of sense actually. <laughs> okay, that it that did explain it. Yep. That was just a great job, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. <sighs> okay. Well, nevertheless, we continue. Let's get back to it. You know, this is the second time that I've randomly lost a pickaxe. And the first time it actually, like, genuinely cursed me, this was on a modded world that I play on. And I was like, I swear, if I lose this pickaxe again, I'm definitely cursed. And then it turns out that uh, I was cursed with the Cursed of Vanishing enchantment. Which makes way more sense than whatever I was, than whatever was going on in the modded world. Bad news, everybody. I have stumbled into a side quest. I keep getting the best crazy trades, but I just need Frostwalker. I literally just need Frostwalker. I've got Power 5, Silk Touch for 16. I, we gotta stay focused, guys. We- oh my- please. Oh, there's- okay. Great. We're good. Okay. That took me two hours. Back to building. I messed up somewhere. Wait, or did I? Did I? I something happened, but it's probably fine. No, that's the same. That's the same length. Okay, it just looks weird from my perspective. Oh God! Stupid. Angry Balloons! Messing up literally everything. Is- Okay, it's 10pm. I'm just gonna pause my recording and go get a shower. This is not the proper time to be getting pissed at, uh... 
at guests for just spawning in, shooting a fireball at me, refusing to elaborate, and leaving before I can kill it. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Editor Six here. I, uh... So, after having gone through the entirety of the over an hour footage that I recorded for that epi for episode 11, I once again lost all of the ending bits, which was which also included me explaining this thing up here. I had an entire time lapse recorded, but since I messed up rec while recording it using uh what was it again i forget what it's called the thing that lets you start recording but i messed up doing that a couple times and so um so you don't get a time lapse and since i also completely messed up rec going over the recording where i explained what this was who made it etc and how it works i figured i may as well just go up here and do that right now in post because it's 8 p.m. I am really it's whatever so I actually did some redstone for once figured out how to get it to where all of the drops that I got from the zombie piglins end up in this dispenser right here which automatically detects when there's something in the dispenser and then it shoots it out into lava. This took me like 15 minutes to do, and took me a horrible amount of time to collect the resources for. Up here is the actual platform where you go and the piglins fall and die. You can see they fall from a very large height. And up here, I placed all those magma blocks by hand. It took me a pretty long time. I actually had to go into peaceful mode because kept getting my ass kicked by ghasts. And here, you can't exactly see it very well, but a bunch of zombie piglins with an iron construct in the middle. And what this essentially does is they spawn here. These lads are so ghasts can't spawn the iron construct, hits one of these piglins, makes them all mad, they come here and they fall down and because they are mad at the construct they die right now this is not working because the construct is actually like really chill and hasn't hit one of them yet however if i hit one of these guys with the with a bow and then just head down here Yeah, I'd say this thing works. So again, the design is by Ray's works. I will link to his channel in the description. Sorry for the wait. Sorry that this thing is over an hour long. Thank you all very much for watching. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm not your mother. Goodbye.